type situation, but that is going to be Kindred. So uh, the benefit of Kindred is that obviously you do have a better way of dealing with the Nico ultimate in a 5v5 scenario. I also think Owner wants to try and be rid his invade evermore. Even on camps though at the moment. Three being picked up by both junglers. As let's check in on the top lane. Andil going to be landing some abilities, but Owner's going to turn up. Andil trying to get out of there, but this might be the end of the Aatrox. It might be first blood, and there it is, and it goes to Owner. And Owner running it, but Owner shows up just at that given time. Oh, there's the backflip. Does come through. Pop Blossom comes down. The taunt should be there from Beryl, but it is not. And Lucid lacking just range or DPS later, although I guess that's a Kindred and a Jin. That's a lot of range. But the team fight uh, is oh. a little bit worried about. We might have one of those right here, and Execute is in so much trouble. He's going to go down, and it's a second kill here for Team Jungle. In the meantime, Carrier has found Lucid, gets the flash. Perfect Execution doesn't land. It's a lot of damage, as that was actually Carrier transforming into owning the Rift right now. And it looks like Solo Q was right all along as Gideon, looking for the all-in. Yeah, the World Ender comes down, but the all-out seems to be working a little bit better. Andal is just spinning around, trying to hit some Qs. He might need to get out of here. It's doing some decent damage. Qs landing. Oh, that one's not going to connect, though, as Gideon. Can he find the solo kill? There it is! Andal goes down, and the Cassante Deficit like this as burdens are opened. Yeah, and, so, and immediately closed. Yeah, uh, so just one, just one bullet there with the curtain call. Sometimes that's all you need. To try and create some space here. As Peanut has got over the wall, barrel down to 50%. As owner is looking to dance away, Peanut's gonna have to escape. That was almost first kill for the supports. And now we've got the ultimate come through. Lucid is looking for Barrel. Perfect execution as he wipes out Platter and he does not stop there. Double kill for the Akali and Jungle just looks unstoppable today. And outside of that one Rift Herald, Team Jungle on track for a perfect game. It's everything as Andal just going to dash over the wall, but that may not be enough to stop the wrath of Gideon, who's finding Q after Q. The Flash not really doing a whole lot there. Gideon is just going to smash the Aatrox down one more time. This is just turning into a shellacking, Chronicler. And he's currently in the form of Lucid, who is looking like a mid laner right now. 2 0 0 on the Akali. He does have a CS advantage as well. And now, Beryl, he's going for a ride. Okay, Gideon's going to get knocked up. Sylvie going to get knocked up. And he gets the charge. There's a fair bit of value there as he dives forward. It could be kill number one. And there it is. We've got the third Drake being taken here by Jungle, but it's kill number one for support. They're on the board. Big win for team support. They are awkwardly stuck. Yes. Barrel rolling out. Barrel's decided to take one for the team, or has he? This could be the start of something, but Lucid gets into the back line. Barrel is going to go down. Has he done enough to try and help out his team? The answer looks like a no, as Lucid gets rid of the Lucian. Gideon just trying to keep the rest of the team out of there as Andil is trying to tank up as much as he can. Does get a decent amount of health back as Ona does take down Execute. And it's looking like Team Jungle are just a little bit too strong. They do manage to take down Peanut, but Carrier will fall immediately afterwards, and Andil will be taken down. There is the ace for about a split second. Really care about Barrel. He, he has he's very little health. He, he does actually have to respect, but also yeah. can kind of just ignore Barrel. Yeah, and uh, especially with Ona turning up as well. So Barrel might be out of the death chamber, into the death chamber, and there we go. They take down the turret as well. The onslaught of the jungle continues. And support, I mean, they're trying to get oh, a couple of members down here. Exactly. It's Nico making his way in. There's Gideon, very low. Good ward comes out there as Fled is trying to get the damage down. Peanut has found Carrier as he makes his way in, and now Lucid's turned up. He's so dangerous. Lands the backflip, Pop Blossom onto three, though. It doesn't matter because it's just not enough damage. They're so incredibly strong, and Lucid is just destroying them. Five points strike to the back of the head, and just the Shuriken from the Shuriken backflip is enough to deal with Emilio. And Andal is finding himself 1v4. Barrel's back. trying to turn up. I just no. don't think, oh, he's, he's trying to, and then he decides to turn around because he knows that Andil is dead. Gold lead. Uh, it is, it's, it's just, it's just not looking good uh, here for support at this point in time. But Andil is in position. Let's see what they can actually get done here. Carrier looking for some snares. Oh, Beryl changing positions, getting on top of Sylvie, but he just falls down. Execute 
may just be his namesake right now as the last of Ignite is going to land it. Peanut collects that kill. He is down relatively low. With the dash cannon not going to be enough to save Carrier as it's going to be a shuriken backflip from Lucid that gets that one done. Pleta trying to escape, and he will do that, but he's the last man standing on his team. And Jungle just going to get back towards that Baron and look to put a dent into this game. And by a dent, I mean finish the game. Traps yeah. like this. Ah. Lucid doesn't know. He Is he going to die? Probably not. Is four people enough to kill Lucid? That's my question. He does hop into his shroud. Looks to try and escape, doesn't land the backflip, so can't re-engage, which I imagine that's what he wanted to do. Carrier does find him with the pop loss, and it was almost a great escape. He tries to dash over, he's very strong right now, the culling can't turn, so that ain't gonna work out. He's still alive for the moment, he's still gonna die, but that was a that was a cute little effort. It is gonna be in trade for the majority of the base here on team support, so still hats off. Oh, uh, too lucid there. Nine, one, and one. That's a that's a win for team support, man. You are not getting anything <laughs> on the rest of the match. Got the shutdown. Fight these players. We need to check all all chat for the worst. See whether that actually popped up. That would confirm it 100%. Inhibitor number one to go down though. As jungle look to continue the pressure with their Baron buff activated. Okay, there's the ult out from Execute trying to keep his teammates alive. As the curtains have been called, Sylvie looks for a few bullets but does end up deciding. He doesn't really think it's worth it for now. Mid lane inhibitor turret is definitely going to go down. The inhibitor to follow as well. And Sylvie's still at full health. Peanut's at full health. They can go for some sort of re-engage if they would like. Now the regroup to come in. Barrel just not as tanky as he wants to be for now. And Andil, not quite with his team at that particular moment. Now looking for Lucid if he can find him. It doesn't get him with too much. Infernal Chains will go off. But now the Nexus turrets are under fire. And Team Jungle. It just feels like an absolute wash here. They were dominant from start to finish. Second Nexus turret comes down. There's the Pop Blossom, but is it going to matter? I think the answer is no. Is Lucid, are you going back to that one? Yes, he is. He dives onto the fountain, and Team Jungle will take down Team Support here. Now, first game of the day.